Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey. And we are in a journey through the New Testament. My goal here is to have a meditation, a short meditation, one or two verses in every chapter of the New Testament in this channel here. And sometimes because I already had meditation in the past on, on, on many chapters of the Bible, so I'm not going back to those chapters. This is why sometimes if you're following me uh, every day, you're going to see that I'm going to skip sometimes two, three chapters and sometimes even a book because I already have meditation on, on those chapters. Uh, and I'd like to invite you to take this journey with us. Also, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. So let's take a look in the verse for today. Very interesting, very interesting verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Be careful, however, that the exercise of your freedom does not become a stumbling block to the weak. We, we talk about that uh, in, in other chapters in the past that this this is a fight that happened because there was Jews and Gentiles uh, in, in the same congregation and, and, and they live in Corinth there is a lot of uh, uh, gods and temples there other religions and and sometimes people would sacrifice to to other gods an animal and then they will sell the meat on the on the on the public square and, and for a better price and people hey i need to eat my family need to eat i'm gonna eat that and then some believers say, oh this meat here is for the uh, uh, for an idol sacrifice to an idol and uh, you cannot eat that a christian cannot touch that kind of meat and other that meat has blood in it and all it was a fight between Jews and Gentiles, sometimes Gentiles with Gentiles. It was a mess, and Paul has to address that because it was complicated because they had to, how are we going to handle it? And then some people say, I'm free, and Paul is going to say, you are free, we are free, we can do a lot of things. We can do a lot of things. We're free from those kind of stuff. And then he said, look, be careful. Be careful that you exercise your freedom will not affect the Christian journey, the Christian life of your brother or sisters who are weak. And this is what we need to do. It's just use wisdom. We are freedom to do a lot of things, my friend. Uh, drinking. Some people, hey, I can drink a wine. No problem. I don't see any problem. I can drink a beer. I don't see any problem with that. Yeah, but some people say, oh, he drinks. Oh, I can play cards. So, yeah, I'm free to do that. It's just a game. Just have fun. But some people say, oh, that's just going it's, to... It's complicated, isn't it? Because, because of this kind of situation, we are, we're free. Paul says, yeah, you can eat. We're free to eat. There is no problem. But you have to be wise. To think if your freedom will impede, slow down, block a weak person. The brother and sister that are coming in right now and have no clue how to behave, what to do, and they think that a Christian should not do those things. Just, do you really need to do that just to show how strong you are, how big you are, how good Christian you are, and you can do whatever you want to do? No, you don't need to do that. Think on them. That is the point here. It's not that you are going to stop, not that you are going to change your way of believing. You still think that you can do those things. But because of that brother, that sister, I'm going to slow down. I'm not going to do it in a public way. You just need to be wise. Just need to be wise. 
so you're not going to interfere in their journey with Christ. That is the point here, and that is the main point here, to think about them instead of you. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.